So big news coming out of Islands of Adventure this week, two big updates, one permanent closure, one temporary closure, and new things on the way. Let's talk about it. First off, the biggest news that's going to leave a lot of people pretty sad is that we're getting the permanent closure of Poseidon's Fury Escape from the Lost City. This attraction has been with Islands of Adventure since it opened and was one of the main attractions in the Lost Continent section of the park and Universal just announced that almost 25 years after opening, the attraction will be closing on May 10th of 2023 with final performances occurring on May 9th. That's just a little under a month away. Now in recent years, Poseidon's Fury has been the subject of many closure rumors due to lengthy refurbishments that have occurred within the attraction. Most notably, the attraction went through a very lengthy refurbishment after the parks reopened for COVID due to some repainting and there were rumors whether the show was going to be rethemed or completely closed. So it seems interesting that Universal is finally biting the bullet and closing this attraction just after a really, really long refurbishment. However, as much as people enjoy this attraction, I am not surprised that it's going away. It hasn't been super, super popular, even though it is the only attraction remaining in Lost Continent these days. It just feels like the attraction model, a walkthrough live show, is not what's popular nowadays, especially when it comes to Universal, which is a shame because those attractions can be pretty incredible. And this one was definitely pretty incredible with its very interesting and unique special effects and having possibly the best facade in the entire resort in my opinion. Now I know rumors are already abound of what's going to replace this attraction and Universal has only suggested that there is going to be a new experience in the place of Poseidon's Fury. Because of this I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the beginning of the end for the Lost Continent, if it's going to become a giant re-theme for the Lost Continent, possibly following into more of the Wizarding World as that was what part of the Lost Continent did evolve into back in 2010. Now while I'm not someone who necessarily complains about the Wizarding World like some fans do I really enjoy it it's fantastically themed of course I do think they may be starting to wear themselves a little thin when it comes to locations you have Hogsmeade obviously in Islands of Adventure you have Diagon Alley in Universal Studios Florida and rumored Ministry of Magic at Epic Universe I'm not sure where else you can really go from there if you're adhering strictly to the Harry Potter films and books especially when considering how large the Lost Continent is and how you would need to be to fill that space up to justify, you know, tearing it down. I could see them going with one of two options when it comes to Harry Potter either expanding Hogsmeade or building out into the Forbidden Forest. Expanding Hogsmeade to add more walking area, more shops could be a good idea in managing the capacity of the area as it is very, very hard to walk in there in a really busy season or just in a busy time of day like later at night when they do the fireworks, for example. It allows them to add more shopping and dining and entertainment experiences into that area to match the energy of Diagon Alley, which has a lot more going on. And attraction-wise, there are a lot of possibilities, but what I would really love to see is a Shrieking Shack-themed experience, maybe in the Poseidon's Fury building. Maybe this is a more spooky walkthrough experience or like an escape room type of experience. Or I could see them going all in on the Forbidden Forest concept. They just unveiled some new creature encounters over in Universal Studios Japan that I think would be really, really a big hit if they brought them over here. I mean, the raptor encounters and all that stuff in Jurassic Park is is really popular. However, Potter isn't the only speculated IP takeover for the Lost Continent, with The Legend of Zelda also being a rumored pick. Now, just last week, we got the release of the Super Mario Bros. movie, and it's been breaking records left and right, so it seems like Universal, Nintendo, Illumination are going to be looking for that next big Nintendo IP to adapt into a movie and therefore incorporate into the theme parks. And Legend of Zelda as an IP is almost as popular as Mario, so it could warrant a really cool theme park land. However, I I'm more in the camp that I think this is just going to be a new experience within the Lost Continent that we have now. The footprint for Poseidon's Fury is quite large, so I wouldn't be surprised if them keeping it. It might be quite a bit of a hassle to completely demo it and change it into something else. As far as what I would like to see, I really would like to see some sort of dark ride come to Islands of Adventure. Something really focused on the theming rather than the thrill. I know Islands of Adventure is the thrill park, but I feel like it could use that balance of having a really cool dark ride there. Something that could honestly honor the integrity of Poseidon's Fury with its use of practical sets. I know Universal's going that route when making their rides. They have a lot of screen rides. They're going towards more practical effects in their new attractions. I 
ideally something original as Islands of Adventure is a park based in originality. Obviously it has IPs like Marvel, like Jurassic Park, like Harry Potter, but the theme and the concept of Islands of Adventure and the Lost Continent specifically is not one based on a specific movie or franchise, but based in classic myths and legends told through a different lens. Now obviously the elephant in the room for many many years was that they weren't going to do an Atlantis themed dark ride because SeaWorld has one of those, but perhaps including the Global Discovery Corps that is featured in the Poseidon's Fury attraction, maybe adapting that to be a dark ride of some sort, maybe leaning into the navigation explorer theme they have throughout the rest of the park, in a similar fashion that they did with the National Museum of Antiquities for the Revenge of the Mummy attraction. Now I know Universal doesn't really build a whole lot of original attractions, especially not nowadays. And it is what it is, but if you're going to do an IP, just put an IP in there that makes sense and can be tied in thematically, hopefully keeping the facade if they're going to keep the Lost Continent area theming. And I think it adds so much gravitas to the area and the surrounding Mythos restaurant, which is part of the reason why I don't think the Lost Continent's going to go anywhere. Not saying they can't re-theme a restaurant, but Mythos is really, really popular, possibly the most recognizable restaurant in Islands of Adventure, just behind the three broomsticks, I would say. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, what do you think could be coming to Poseidon's Fury? Do you think it's going to be another show? Do you think it's going to be a dark ride? Do you think it's going to be themed to Atlantis and the Lost Continent? Do you think they're going to go completely change it, add a new IP, maybe Harry Potter, maybe Zelda, maybe something else? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Also, speaking of Harry Potter, the nighttime lights at Hogwarts Castle is also going down on May 10th for a lengthy refurbishment. Now, this is not a permanent closure of this entertainment offering, and with rumors of drones coming to this show, I think this could be the time they really, really incorporate that. Now, just a few weeks ago, we got the announcement of the cinematic celebration closing over in Universal Studios Florida, pretty unexpectedly, to make for some new entertainment offerings. So it seems like Universal is really leveling up their nighttime entertainment. While I have personally preferred things like the Hogwarts Light Castle show and the Cinematic Spectacular to some of the offerings over Walt Disney World, it's clear to see that Disney puts a lot of budget into those nighttime spectaculars. And it seems like Universal, as they're trying to grow the resort and grow their brand here in Orlando, might be trying to do the same thing in leveling up their nighttime entertainment. And that's it. Two big updates coming out of Islands of Adventure. This is just a quick little bonus video I wanted to throw out this week because this is pretty big news. But anyways, if you enjoyed this quick little news update round of video, let me know in the comments below. I want to do these more often when there's a little bit more minor news, but stuff I still want to talk about when it comes to the theme parks. But yeah, if you enjoy Universal Orlando news, updates, discussions, discussions, essay videos, vlogs, anything like that, please subscribe to the channel. It would be really, really appreciated. And I will see you all in the next one, of course. Take care, everybody.